peasant groups are accusing the PNP of using extreme force against farmers in Negros Oriental. The ensuing gun battle left 14 workers dead. But the PNP insists their operations were legitimate. They also say it was the farmers who started the gunfight. Justine Punsalang has the report. 14 farmers were killed in three separate police operations in Negros Oriental on Saturday. Provincial Police Chief Colonel Raul Takaka confirmed that eight were slain in Canlaon City, four in Manhuyod, and two in Santa Catalina. He said the suspects resisted arrest and shot at authorities who were serving them arrest warrants for various charges, including alleged illegal possession of firearms. Takaka claimed that the slain suspects all had firearms and that they initiated the gun battle. Mayroon sa talagang report na itong mga tao na ito ay may mga hinahawa ka mga aliga, mga baril na walang lisensya. Kaya nag-serve po rin ang search warrant. During the service of search warrant, itong mga portal na siya sa amin ng pinatay, ito po yung sila po yung lumaban sa polis natin. At kabalik ka lang po yung sinasabi na sila po yung pinatay na walang kalalaba. Sila po yung lumaban. He pointed out that the 12 other suspects whom they served arrest warrants to went with them peacefully. Nag-apply po kami ng search warrant para doon sa mga 36 na katao. During sa service of search warrant po, yung 14 po yan, yung English na po na mag-surrender, nagipaglaban po sila sa ating mga uh, police. Sila po yung pumutok, sila po yung unang bumaril. Kasi ang PNP ng buwan niyo, basta-basta babaril na lang sa nawalang balatan na. Meron po kami na kumpis ka na na 51 assorted firearms. But militant groups told a different version. The Kilosang Mambubukid ng Pilipinas for One calls the incident a massacre. The peasant organization said farmers were killed tokhang style with raiding teams forcibly opened locked doors at midnight, brandishing defective search warrants. KMP added that the uniformed men then dragged the farmers out of their houses before shooting them. The group also claimed that the police are using the classic Nanlaban alibi to justify their killing of farmers and peasant leaders involved in land disputes. Still, the PNP insisted that the operations were legitimate. The Commission on Human Rights is now urging its Region 6 sub-office to investigate the case. CHR says even claims of resisting arrest need to be tried before courts to ensure that there are no lapses and to find out whether circumstances warrant the use of force. For News 5, Justine Punsalang, We Are One News.